Good morning guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my 2019 reading goals. I am really excited for what I'm going to read in 2019. Um, just quickly going to do a little recap on 2018 reading. So I think I read about 50 books last year. Um, that's just what I saw on Goodreads when I very briefly looked at sort of my year of 2018. Um, I never set myself a challenge of books to read, what well, I haven't done for the past two years. I think I spent two years doing that when I first joined Goodreads or something like that. Um, but honestly, the number of books I read does not matter to me. Um, it's more about the quality of books I read. I don't really, like setting myself a number has never really helped me achieve anything. Um, so I just stopped doing that because I didn't find that it was helping me with anything in any way shape or form so I honestly I'm the kind of reader that just picks up whatever I want and I read that and I'm content like if I'm reading books that I really like um and if I'm exploring new genres um that's a lie not new genres just exploring new authors I like to stick to the genres that I like um so yeah but I found that 2018 was a really good reading year off the top of my head I know that Goodreads said that the Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle was the longest book I read last year, which was about 540 pages or so. Um, that's interesting to me, um, simply because I did a review about that book, and my god, that book was long, and I don't mean long in terms of pages. I've read books longer than that before, I just meant mean that book went on for way too long. It was unnecessarily long, and I'm glad that it was the longest book I read, because now I, I have confirmation for myself that it was a very long book. Um, yeah, there were some other interesting facts about my year of 2018. If I can find that page on Goodreads, I will um, stick it up here somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, um, but for 2019, I actually have some reading goals. Now, I don't usually have reading goals. I, Like I said, I read whatever I want. I pick up whatever I want. However, this year I've decided that I want my reading to be a bit more educational for me. Um, and therefore I have set myself a couple of reading goals. Um, they're not tightly bound or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to cry if I don't achieve them, but because they're so loose, I don't see how I can't not achieve them. A double negative. Did that make sense? No. Because they're so loose, I don't see how they cannot be achieved. You know what I mean. So my first reading goal of 2019 is to read more African literature. I spoke about wanting to do this last year and I did achieve that last year. Like I spoke about this probably halfway through the year that I just wanted to include more. Um, I didn't include as many books as I wanted to. Um, so this year it's definitely a priority. Simply because, I don't know, it's calling my name and I feel like I should. Um, so that can be from any genre. I really w am willing to pick up any sort of African literature, so that's literature that's about Africa or written by an African person. Um, so, you know, we could be delving into the fantasy category, a category I do not like to touch at all because I really have no interest in it whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of books already in my Amazon basket lined up for this. I just don't want to go a bit crazy and buy like, loads of books um, and then be bored and then not read them. So that's a huge goal of mine. Um, I would definitely like to read some things surrounding Africa, specifically Ghana, that is non-fiction, um, but not a huge priority. Um, I think that's going to be the more educational side for me and I just feel like I'm currently in education <laughs> learning. I don't know how much more capacity I have to learn, but I might find it interesting and I might pick it up, but that's more of like a sub goal from the original goal. Um, so yeah, and that is one I'm really, really excited for. So if you have any sort of African literature recommendations, please do leave them down below for me because I would love to check them out. The second goal I have is to read more essays. Um, and this is, again, another goal that is just very broad. Um, so it can be essays on anything. Um, this is really just inspired by the fact that I read the essays on the working class, um, so the Know Your Place essay collection by Dead Ink. I really enjoyed that collection. I was able to pick it up just because it was sort of doing the rounds on Twitter and it was fantastic. It included so many perspectives from working class people in the UK um, and it's just really inspired me to pick up more essay collections. Um, but again, they can be about anything. It doesn't have to be to do with like Africa or race or anything to do with that. Um, I have actually already ordered an um, essay collection I will put the title up here um, 
I know it's called Bodies and then it's got something else it has like some other long bit of a title as well um, and it's just basically to do with the human body I think it's actually to do with the women body more than the human body um, but I'm really really looking forward to reading that it sounds like a complete interesting read um, and it sounds like a good exploration of I guess yeah bodies self-love and all that jazz I have also picked up this book um, I was in London Review Bookshop or London Bookshop Review I, I can't remember the name it's in Bloomsbury um, and I was just checking out their essays and sort of letters and something else collection that they have and I spotted this so I picked this up because it sounded quite interesting um, I have seen not this book but this sort of um, I guess front cover or presentation this style um, I guess for this also before I just can't remember what book I've seen it on it must be a book of his um, but it says here, the story of race in America is a brutally simple one, written on flesh. It's the story of the black body exploited through slavery and segregation. And today, still dis wow, disproportionately threatened, locked up and killed in the streets. What is it like to inhibit a black body and find a way to live within it? And how can America reckon with its fraught racial history? Um, I don't think this is much an essay collection as I thought it was rather than an exploration from this author. I think it might be split up into different sections and I'm not sure what those sections are. But it sounded pretty good. There's like intros of like poetry and then there's also photos which I assume are personal photos. I'm not really sure. He is a man. But most of you probably know who he is. I don't know who he is. Tainahisi Coates. I don't know, but there's a huge sticker on the front that says National Book Award winner. So there's that. Looking forward to reading this. But hopefully, because most of these will be non fiction, it will help me to read stuff that is also about Africa, helping me meet that sort of sub goal of reading African surrounding things. But this will obviously be non fiction. So, yeah, that is my second goal read more essay collections. My third goal is actually surrounding a genre, and that is to read sci fi. Um, science fiction is not something I have ever been attracted to um I've never been I guess unattracted to it it's just not a genre that I've ever been like I'm definitely going to pick stuff up from there I think I have this um sort of aversion to science and what it could possibly be and also just I think that I think but I also think it is true there's a lot of things in here that science fiction can get a bit wild and sometimes I'm just not interested in reading like about the wildest things in space I, I'm here on earth I really don't care like I know that sounds really stupid because I read a lot of fiction books that are set in god knows where and things that don't happen but I'm just I'm not trying to read about Mars I'm not even gonna lie um although I did read that womankind magazine and that was a lot to do with Mars but you get where I'm coming from if if you have an aversion to sort of science fiction and things that just seem so beyond you and far-fetched you'll understand like where I'm coming from um but I don't know something inside me has changed I think I mentioned it in my um last video which was my December wrap-up and that was talking about growing the growing season um I think there are certain elements of science fiction that I would like to explore um but I think I'm just going to go in with maybe like the more popular stuff of science fiction um or things that just get recommended to me just because i feel like science fiction might teach me something like i feel like it will broaden my horizons and broaden my intelligence um it might not it might all be complete trash um but who knows so once again if you have any sci-fi recommendations for me do leave them down below nothing like hardcore sci-fi like just remember that I'm a little beginner and like trying to dip my toes into it um so yeah that'd be good another goal of mine is to read more mythology and, and I don't mean just Greek mythology or like Roman mythology I mean like mythology from all walks of life whether that be the originals I guess or um retellings again I would specifically like to go into African mythology but I feel like I would like to also read a lot of mythology from all over the world so and that is just simply because I'm interested in mythology um, I'm interested in storytelling and just sort of the things that people told themselves to get through life way 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 back in the day um, so it really is as simple as that <laughs> um, so if you have any recommendations for mythology again leave them in the comments below because I will basically be picking up anything 
the final goal which isn't really a goal that I care if I achieve or not but I've, I'm just putting it out there so that I may allow myself to do it and if I dislike it then I can say I tried um, and that is to read fantasy. I am going to set it to reading one fantasy book for 2019 simply because fantasy is not a genre I enjoy. I don't really care for dragons and fairies and I'm probably being so horrible because it's probably more than that but I just don't really care for it um but I would like to pick up a book from that genre and see what it's all about so yeah those are my goals for 2019 I will still be picking up whatever books I want so there'll be books that fall out of these goals which is completely fine because it's reading it's not a prison read or anything like that um but I'm just trying to, I guess, broaden my horizons and let my reading teach me something. I think reading fiction is all well and good. I absolutely love reading fiction. Um, but I guess there are some non-fiction bits that I want to read. There are some, I guess, serious topics that I want to read about. And yeah, I'm just making it a priority this year. But that is all from me today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your 2019 reading goals are. And like I said, if you have any book recommendations that fall into any of the goals that I have set, please do leave them down below because I would love to check them out. I will catch you in my next video. Goodbye.